after the Pittsburgh Steelers shenanigans, Marissa and I. Yeah. Fuck, excuse me. What I was trying to say is we got on a plane and we headed to Vegas for the second leg of our trip. Here you are at Caesars Palace, made it to Vegas. No issues, unlike uh, my brother Pat. Looks like he'll have to stay in Denver tonight, unfortunately. But uh, we're here, we only got a few hours. So we're gonna go blow some money and uh, Marissa's gonna get drunk. I didn't get it filmed, unfortunately, but seconds after this video, some guy freaks the hell out and knocked over all of these uh, velvet barriers. That's the cop chasing him down because, uh, I don't know, he didn't have a reservation or something. Freaked out. I wish I filmed it. So we made it. We're at Caesar's Palace. I got a Corona out of the uh, fridge over there, and uh, they don't have any prices, so that's probably a $50 fucking beer, but... Uh, after being on a plane for five hours, it's worth it. There's our view. We're on the uh, 17th floor. I'm not a fan of heights. I'll show you a better view of that in a second. And we got a room upgrade for an extra $50. So that's cool because um, I don't know what the other room looked like, but this is really nice. This is the eighth hotel I've stayed in in Vegas um, in my life. And I want to I wanna come back and stay in a different hotel every time I come back. Uh, I don't know how many you know, main hotels there are, but it'd be nice to stay in all of them. So this knocks Caesar's Palace off of my bucket list. And with that said, I am placing Caesar's Palace at number three all time in Vegas. Uh, number one is yet to come in this video. You'll see why, but Caesar's Palace, very nice room, very nice hotel, number three all time. Which, according to the elevator, this is the top floor of Caesar's Palace. So... There it is. We're playing Marissa's favorite big wheel. We've bet every number on this, so let's see. We hit an 11, that's pretty good. That's 110 bucks. I don't know if it'll hit 11. Nope, it's a piece of shit like always. And then we ate dinner at El Malfi, which is Bobby Flay's restaurant of scrum trulescent decadence. <laughs> Here we are back at Caesars. Our flights were all jacked up due to delays and weather and apparently people sleeping in or some shit. So we're like, you know, we'd rather be stuck in Vegas than in Salt Lake or San Francisco. So here we are again. And we still got our room at Caesars, so we're gonna go get our room key and go take a nap. And then we'll figure out where to go from there. Vegas, day two. Never knew we'd have a day two, but here we are on day two. It's a 
a beautiful day. Day two in Vegas that we never knew that we were going to have. We went to Margaritaville for some lunch, had a couple of drinky poos, and then we decided on a hotel to stay in. And we ended up staying at a hotel I've always been intrigued by, known as the Venetian. Well, Moose, this one might take the cake. Got like our own little living room here. So we upgraded. It was only $60 more for a full view of um, the strip. Now I fucking hate it because of the heights, but uh, where? There's Caesar's Palace, that's about how high we are. I wish I was that high. Last night we were on the 17th floor, and right now we're on the 33rd floor of the Venetian. It's fucking radical. Don't like it. Don't that? touch that booze, it's expensive. And then we found my dad aimlessly wandering around Vegas drunk, and we went out and did some gambling and went to another fine restaurant known as Chica. Because it has an MP next to it. We're at Chica right now. Marissa wanted to come here because it's a Mexican restaurant. Right? No. Uh, anyways, looking forward to it. It is Chef Lorena Garcia. Last night we had Bobby Flay, so let's see what happens here. That's the end of Vegas. We lost some money. We had some good food. Had some good times. Good doggy. Hi, Kelly Cutler here. We're finally home from vacation. Barely got into Missoula. Yesterday, Montana got a shit ton of snow, as you can see behind me. Um, yeah, and I think my time code or whatever is off a little bit because I uh, woke up bright and early at 6 a.m. and uh, couldn't fall asleep again so I just said screw it I'm gonna get up and go do what I set out to do which is not be a fat piece of shit this year so here I am 6 a.m. taking a little walkie with the doggy glad to be home though nothing like Montana after a long vacation